the organization One Laptop Per Child have given us a case which involves giving 10 million laptops to children in developing countries over five years. Giving laptops to children is a great way to change the future of many of these children. But for us, we believe who gives these children laptops can be as powerful and important as the laptops themselves. We believe that using women to distribute these laptops will be the best way to deliver social change. We are focusing on marginalized women, the ones who are divorced, widowed, unemployed, ignored, and forgotten. We want to empower these women by not just giving them a job, but by giving them the knowledge to teach younger generations about new and modern technological education. By doing this, we will bring many different parts of our society together. By strengthening the broken, ignored, and weakened members of our society, we will finally begin to act as one. We will believe that if we can teach women how to use these laptops, then these women will be the agent through which change can come. Not only will this empower women, but women will be models to children and will make a larger impact on them. For our goal, women will be trained by IT students and then these women will teach children about the computers. We will follow these steps. First, we will give IT students who are about to graduate from college a six-month internship. During these six months, those IT students will teach women how to use laptops. After that, the IT students and NGOs will be responsible for giving laptops to the women. The reason that we made them responsible for this rather than our government is that we want the government to be included but not dependent on. We want to improve Iraq by giving jobs to its youth, not its government. Next, these women who are taught by IT students will be given a contract by the Ministry of Education for one year to teach elementary school children. Also, they will be responsible for distributing the laptops to those children. After that year, we will make a course for those children who never had a chance to go to school. During this course, the newly trained women will teach children about the use of the computers. In this way, we are not only giving these children laptops, we are giving them an incentive to go to school and study. Also, we are creating independent women and in providing them with skills and self-respect. This is how this case will work in Iraq. And if it works in Iraq, it will serve as a model in all developing countries. By incorporating marginalized groups into their societies in countries from Mongolia to Cameroon, we will have helped to create a new generation of productive global citizens.